Alright, hello everybody, I'm Jake English, and welcome to the first series on my channel, The Stanley Parable. So, each series I do will only be a week long, so seven episodes upload each day, and each time I shall be joined by my good friend, Jane. Are you Hi. still on the call, Jane? Yes, you are. There you are. I'm here. Alright, so for this game, now all you guys that have played this game are like, but Jake, this is a single player game. But it can be multiplayer. Pretty sure what's going to be happening is that each time I'm coming up to a decision as where I can either Boarding. Oh, that was responding! Yay! Well, that's good then, because... But here's a good part, the game's responding again. Alright. Almost unloading! Almost ready the game to start after that really long cutscene. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Sounds Orders like came to him job. through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them. I think that you're gonna work there when you're this older. Even if I were to work there, since I'm following instructions, I'd have probably failed to get fired within the first week. Others might have considered it so yeah, I, I agree. Every moment yeah. That the orders came. Though he had been I mean, yep, known me for too long, but you already know I mess up a lot of stuff. Stanley was of course. Happy. <laughs> and then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. You know what that no could mean, sadly? To give him it's the weekend. Call a meeting. You're home. Say, well, you're supposed to be home Never right now with your company family company that you probably happened. don't have. This complete isolation. Something was very Why would he have a family? Shocked, That's frozen true. solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right, first decision. Should I head out of my office? Or should I close my door? Close your door. Ending one reached. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Oh. What if, he had to make <laughs> what if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This, this couldn't, couldn't go, go anywhere any except so badly. badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure beyond any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. 
He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. There we go. Anyone finished? Wow. The that end. Was... It's never the end. It's never the end. He's loading. Never. Game's loading a lot faster now, by the way. Mm. Alright, there we go. So, now, should I reach that ending I was telling you about earlier, or should I continue on? Ending you were talking about, bad. obviously. What could it mean? Alright. Stanley decided this to go to the meeting room. To do. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Come on. Oh, Stanley. I, you know you can get up onto the desk. Where the crouch? Come on. Come on. Crouch. I'm able to get up onto the chair, but not up on. There we go, I'm up onto the desk. There we go. And. Glitch ending reached. Wow. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink, drink it, it all, all in? in. Okay, I'm over okay, it. Okay, I'm over it now. <laughs> what do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Oh, are we sick of this gag, Jane? Yes, or are we not sick of it? What? Are we sick of this gag yet? Yes or no? Yes. You're sick of well, this gag. I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley. People considered so manly. Oh. The truth must be told. The name he just called me manly. And was quite oh, okay. particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. You too will become quite unbearable. I think I have to restart the game manually now. All right. Begin the game again. We just sung a very nice song about Stanley. And how he has very miserable existence. Oh. <laughs> he looks rather gangly. Alright, so. So, past these two endings. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley now, as I said before, the room. it's a Perhaps Saturday. Saturday, memo. dummy. You're not supposed to be here. Everyone else is gone. Turn off all the monitors, because nobody's supposed to be here today. Ooh, I can press buttons. <gasps> can you press the buttons? So I got back up onto this desk. Okay, my input's been received. Can I do anything more? No, okay. Turn off this monitor. Ha! If anyone else is supposed to be at those two monitors today, well, those three monitors I mess with, they're fired! Oh. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 
Alright, so the narrator wants you to go to the door on the left. Should you go to the door on the left? Or on the right? Right. Right door. Screw you, narrator! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it. I don't take well. orders from a narrator. I wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Alright, so here we are, so by the employee's lounge. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, Can I just to spend no. a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully Can't constructed room. Soda. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I can feel the employee's lounge. I can feel that party plant right there in the corner. I'm quite over this yes. now. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I can feel this coffee machine! Okay, I'm done now. But eager to get back to business, Stan oh, took the first okay. door on his left. Okay, so there's an open door on my left. Should I go into that open door or keep going forward? The narrator wants to go to the door on the left. Keep going forward! Alright, so. Stanley was so bad at following directions, directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Alright, so here I am on the lift. Now I can either Look, keep Stanley, going, finish the lift ride, off on the or I can jump here. off and die. I'm not your enemy. Really. Jump off and die! I realize For Gallifrey! Him, but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Did you die? I just died! Yes! <laughs> Do you want to get me killed, woman? Maybe. Actually, now that I think about it, there are three endings in which I can die. Well, now I know one of them and I'm happy. <laughs> so how many endings should we cover in this episode? Um... How about knew the office few more? Like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he yeah. found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Uh, Maria, turning off your computer. Uh, Jack. Uh, Jack's computer is off, so I can't mess with this computer. Jane. I'm sorry, Jane, but I'm going to get you fired by turning off your computer. What? I just what got you me? fired. Why me? Cause you just got me killed, Jane. When Stanley came to a sense. You're the of one who doors, told me that I get to choose what you do. All right, so door on the left, where the narrator wants me to go, or to the door on the right. Go to the right again. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee <laughs> lounge first, just to admire it. All right. One second, Jane. Take a quick detour to try to crawl under this stool. Which I'm currently okay. failing to do. Okay. Alright, so back to the employee route. Back to the employee's lounge that oh, I can feel! Yes. This room. <laughs> what a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Right. Door on the left to keep going forward. Mmm, door on the left. All right, so and so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. All right, so the narrator wants me to go to the door right in front of me, or should I go to the left and down on the, a lift? Mm. The second one thing. Down the lift. Yeah. Press the button. There we go. I went down, down, down in the burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher, and it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. <laughs> wow, you were such a great singer. I oh, know, right? You just listen to that all day. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the. Jake, I finally found one thing that you succeed at. And get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um uh, left. Uh, da, 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 da. From here, it's um left. Left. Oh no, no, no it's uh, to the right. My mistake. To the right now, I guess. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was, was I, I thinking? 
It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Papers rustling. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, left right. down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. But this way, there's a truck. I'm gonna hijack the truck. Why? I can't hijack the truck. Can I crawl under the truck? Can't crawl under the truck. Stanley's too fat to crawl under the truck. Well, that's rude. No, 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 Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. No, I've already seen it. Okay, it's okay. burned into my retinas. To, um, oh, who am I? Oh? Where's my? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage Search this nonsense, nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. All right. So if I'm going to the area that I think. Pretty much, you'll just be for conversation for that point because I don't think I can make any decisions if you let me to the ending I think you're leading me to. Okay. Oh, nope. You're useful still. I don't know how the Stanley Parable adventure line. All of his co workers were gone. What could I felt mean? so special. Decided to so go useful, to the apparently. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okie dokie. So, Jane, get you fired again. Maria, I'm sorry, but you're gone. And Jack was smart and turned off his computer again. But why'd you get me fired? Because you got me killed. When Stanley Fire what? yourself. Wait, what? No, I no I restarted. I swear I definitely restarted, restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be Oh, did something change? Stanley. Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? What are Did you, you move talking about? The story somewhere or a... Hold mm -hmm. on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Exactly. It was right here just a minute ago. I'm not sure that it's here somewhere. I'll talk to the narrator. Okay, then. It's an okay. adventure. Okay. Kill the narrator. Is that an option? Let's find no. the story. All right. Well, now from here we forge our own path. There's one, two, three, four, six doors I could go through. Wow, that's a lot of doors. There's two to my left, two in front of me, and two to my right. Go to the one in front of you, one of those. Which one, the right or the left one? The left. This is the one that the narrator originally wants us to go down. Oh. I'll say it. This is the worst, worst adventure, adventure I've ever been, been on. on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Copy machine. Do we just? I'm gonna copy my butt. To restart the game again. <laughs> well, I find it wow, so to immature. Press by starting over and over again. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's hard to believe I'm the this. older one. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Game restarted. Okay. All right, so here we are. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bye, Jane. Wait, what? No. Bye, Maria. Jack Smart. Why? Why would I work there? I'm I'm too smart to work there. Uh huh. And now, no okay, doors in the room! It's worse. I might be oh. remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Well, Jane, now we're going backwards. Why? Because I can't make any decisions and the narrator's... Ooh, that ceiling's a bit broken. Okay. The narrator's telling me everything I have to do. I can't go off track Aha! at all. Aha! I knew you we'd miss you. something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never there's mind. Not the story. No, there's a wall here. Okay, this let's head back the other way. This wall is a story, everybody. This wall right here is a story. Go through the wall, obviously. No, not the wall. This part of plant right here is a story. Everybody, oh. this potted plant is a story. 
Just look at those nicely textured leaves. The nice green color of the leaves. Alright, I'm done with that now. Yeah, I was gonna say, what are you even mumbling about now? And no, now this... we're in a well, haunted I'll be house. Honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Sweet. Is this the story? Yay. I don't think so. We're in Freddy Fazbear's recall, Pizza. But I believe my story oh, took God, place no. in an office building. <laughs> it, is that correct? Just so you know, you and I will be playing that game sometime, Stanley? Jade. You can't get out of it. Know what? Since I've completed Do I have to? What we're supposed to be doing, how about yes. This? <laughs> you win. I bet I can get Jane. far. Jane! Jane! You, let me, you just made me win the game. Work, and it really what? Off. So, good the job. The narrator just said, you win, congratulations. Oh, no. I don't feel right about I this have at all. failed at my we job. <laughs> any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Uh, Jane, okay. I found that I'm fence you got caught in earlier. This place is. I don't care what might happen Don't this time, even talk about I that. <laughs> now the game's restarting, so I'm guessing that this will be the end of the first episode of the Stanley Parable. Alright everybody, I've been Jake, and this has been my friend Jane, we've been playing the Stanley Parable, and I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.